Hi, and welcome to Dartmouth High's very own news outlet, DHNN. Today on DHNN, we will focus on the all-new safety protocols. Also, we will be speaking with some of our fall coaches. Let's get started. The HNN starts now. Now, now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's get into this week's announcements. DHS students are in the process of signing up for our clubs and activities. Click the link down below for more info. DHS AP students and parents, be sure to click on the link in the description below to make your online payments for AP exams. Make sure to read all information before paying. For next week's weather, it seems to look promising. Let's go to the forecast. to be back in school. Me too. There are some safety concerns. Hi, I'm here to talk with Mr. Tebow about the DHS safety protocol guidelines during the hybrid learning phase. Let's go. When we think about safety protocols at Dartmouth High School, we really want to focus on the four basics. And the four basics would be masking up, so every student, every staff member, anyone who's on campus at Dartmouth High School is going to be required to wear a mask. Uh, the mask has to be two-ply, at least two-ply. It has to fit snugly over your nose and your mouth. Uh, and specifically, you would want to note that gaiters, bandanas, any mask with a side vent, those are prohibited. So it really has to be a medical style mask like I have on or a cloth mask like you have on that's at least two-ply. Uh, so that's, that's the first basic. Then we want to practice excellence in hand hygiene, meaning that we're washing our hands frequently throughout the day with soap and water. Um, and in the absence of soap and water, you want to be using hand sanitizer. Uh, you'll notice throughout the building, um, in common areas, as well as in every uh, single classroom, hand sanitizing stations have been installed by our maintenance uh, crew. Uh, so there's plenty of hand sanitizer throughout the building, and of course, soap and water in our restrooms. Uh, the third uh, basic is to uh, maintain six feet distancing at all times. Um, we have hall markings that have been installed throughout the hallways. We're going to ask students to snug um, or hug rather the right hand side of a hallway. We have markings down so that there's a wide aisle way in every hallway to keep uh, students apart. And students should not stop and congregate in the hallway because we want them to go from point A to point B and maintain that six feet distancing. Every single classroom has been set up to allow for six feet distancing as well. Uh, so students will be in classrooms and um, at least six feet apart from other students. And then the final uh, basic safety protocol is we ask students and their families uh, to, to know the common symptoms of COVID and know do not come to Dartmouth High School if you have any of them. So the common symptoms include fever, muscle and bo uh, body aches, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, new loss of taste or smell, um, headache combined with some other symptoms, uh, diarrhea, vomiting, uh, nausea, uh, sore throat, so uh, fatigue if combined with other symptoms. So there's a long list of symptoms. We'll share those and publish them. And we just ask again that students monitor themselves and that families monitor uh, their children for those symptoms. And if you have any of them, please stay home because we don't want to um, you know, get anyone else uh, sick. So those are the four basics in terms of safety protocols. Fall sports are back on and teams are hitting the practice fields. 
We got the inside scoop from our athletic director, Mr. Chris Afoli. Athletics uh, to this point has run very successfully. Um, there's been a lot of adjustments to the rules and the guidelines that all teams, coaches, and student athletes have had to make uh, in order to participate in a, in a very safe um, and healthy manner. Uh, as far as the fans uh, and spectators go at our events, um, you know, when I presented back at the very beginning of September, uh, one of the portions of my presentation was uh, that we would not be allowing fans and spectators in the gates of our facility uh, because all the focus should be on the players, uh, coaches, and uh, officials' uh, health and well-being, and we are sustaining that throughout the whole season. Each team, um, each program, I should say, is uh, scheduled to play between 8 and 12 games or competitions, uh, and again, that is what was presented at the very beginning of the year, and it's something that we feel confident that we can follow through on. But again, a lot depends on not only the, the health and well-being of our student athletes, but our opponents too. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to fulfill um, that promise at the beginning of the season. DCTV has is, is been streaming uh, our games at the varsity level live. Uh, so we've been sending out links uh, at the very beginning of the week uh, so that fans uh, parents, community members, uh, student uh, students uh, can watch the games live uh, through DCTV on their YouTube channel and it's, it's worked out great. DCTV has done a fantastic job of running a very professional uh, type broadcast and we've gotten a ton of compliments from it. Thanks for watching Dartmouth High News Now. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon below. We end today's show with some scenes from the fall season. See you next time and have a great first day back, DHS. This has been a DHS-TV media production.